In the criminal justice system, sexually based offenses are considered especially heinous. The dedicated detectives who investigate these vicious felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Special Victims Unit. These are their stories. About Jesse Smollett and how he might be lying. What y'all think about that? Two brothers who were questioned and released by Chicago police investigating the Jesse Smollett attack did play a role in the crime. The brothers bought the rope used in the incident at Smollett's request. The Empire actor paid for the rope. Smollett claims two men attacked him in Streeterville early January 29th as he was heading to his apartment. He said they yelled racial and homophobic slurs at him, poured a chemical on him, and put a rope around his neck. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Since Day One. Happy Saturday, y'all. I'm sorry I haven't came out with no videos, but I have one for y'all here today. Before we get into this video, can y'all please thumbs up? Don't forget to comment down below and also don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. A juvenile court jury in Tarrant County, Texas, has sentenced a 14-year-old girl to 25 years behind bars for her 14-year-old friend. The girl who was 13 years old at the time of the stabbing was charged as a juvenile for the of Nyla Lightfoot, 14, who was at an apartment complex in South Fort Worth. Fox 4 is not identifying the attacker or showing her relatives' faces because she is a juvenile. Prosecutors described the girl on trial as being unable to control her rage, pointing to her history of getting into fights in two other states before her family moved to Texas. They asked the jury to send her away for the maximum allowed, which is 40 years in prison. The defense asked the jury to balance the testimony and consider her young age. They also told the jury to consider the element of active passion, which if agreed upon, lowers the prison sentence allowed. After deliberating for about an hour and a half, the jury decided on a 25-year sentence for the 14-year-old. Just ahead of closing arguments, Nyla's mother told the jury how difficult life has been since her daughter was taken from her. Some days I can't go in her room because I don't see nothing but my baby, hoping when I walk in there she'll be lying across her bed listening to music like I left her, said Antoinette Carter. When they told me it was you of all people, it hurt. She treated you like a sister that she didn't have. You took my child, my only girl, and it put a hole in my heart. There has been a lot of tension involving the family of the defendant. One of her relatives was thrown out of court on Friday and warned not to return after he reportedly made some threatening statements outside the courtroom. The girl will remain in juvenile detention until her 19th birthday. Once she turns 19, a judge will decide if she will be transferred to adult prison to finish out her sentence or possibly be released on parole. The girl did tear up after the verdict was read, and as the judge explained what happens from here, her lawyer says she's moving forward with a positive attitude. This North Texas man attempted to have an 11-year-old took it away from her family just so that he could stop his sexual abuse case. According to Fox 4, a 20-year-old man who abused an 11-year-old girl before trying to have her so the case wouldn't move forward has been sentenced. Kylil Jamal Killian was sentenced to 50 years in prison without the possibility of parole after being found guilty of continuous abuse of a child and indecency with the child by contact. The investigation into Killian began in April 2018 after the 11-year-old victim told a school counselor that Killian had abused her many times over the past year. The counselor contacted police and the girl was forensically interviewed at the Children's Advocacy Center of Collin County, Texas. The Collin County Sheriff's Office found enough evidence to charge Killian, who was arrested in Arkansas by the U.S. Marshals. He was then extricated back to Texas. After Killian was found guilty, it was revealed by authorities that he had tried to get others to harm the girl so that the case against him wouldn't go forward. So you guys, leave comments down below and let me know what you think is worse. A child SEX abuse case or murder? Like, come on now. I would have just took the abuse case because that pro probably made them give you more time. Look at this beautiful baby. Isn't she so gorgeous? God rest her soul. Two people who were caring for a little girl in Arlington were indicted this week for her 
The Tarrant County District Attorney's Office confirmed 34-year-old Shamonica Jackson and 38-year-old Derek Robertson are facing one count each of capital murder. Police believe they killed two-year-old Anaya Darnell, who died in November from beatings and dehydration. That sure do hurt my feelings. I hate when people do that to babies because they can't defend themselves. And it's just, what, what type of person are you to do that to a baby? Police believe they, they, they hurt two-year-old Anaya Darnell, who passed away in November from beatings and dehydration. The toddler was not related to either of the suspects, but Jackson, who also went by the name Shamonica Page, was caring for her as a favor to her biological mother. According to an arrest warrant affidavit, Jackson admitted hitting the little girl multiple times with the belt as punishment because she was frustrated with her potty training accidents. Medical examiners also found evidence of severe burns on Anaya's body. Jackson admitted to hitting her burns and not seeking medical help. Police said Robertson was there when it was all happening and didn't do anything to stop it. Like men these days, I'm not going to say all of them, but some of them are like some janky, messed up creatures. They will literally sit in a woman's house all day long, allow for her to go to work, break her back, doing whatever she needs to provide for her household, while they just sit in there watching TV and bootlegs all goddamn day. They don't even want to do nothing, don't want to get up, don't want to go to work, don't want to be a man and provide, don't want to do nothing, just want to be a little, I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> just irritates my soul. And I just wanted to read these news clippings to y'all because it really just made me feel some type of way. When I was reading them, I was just like, bro, I got to make these a video because this is just too much. The world is just really didn't fail to shit. And I feel like that when God does come back... <laughs> He's going to be very disappointed. He just is. And I just, I'm praying for this little girl and her mom and her family. It's just so sad. On another note, y'all, our Kelly ass stay in the news. I swear every day it's a new story on him about some nasty stuff, like some nasty allegations that all he's going to do is come back through his lawyer and deny. So you mean that all this stuff that you have been denying, R. Kelly, when it's time for you to stand in front of the judge and tell all of your sins, all these allegations that you so-called denied is going to come out to be the truth. And you're going to be looking more stupid than ever, period. Like, you haven't even came out not one time to apologize to anyone whatsoever you just think that you can't do no wrong and you're really starting to get on my damn nerves y'all they didn't found another tape not the one that was already turned in to kim fox but a new one like how stupid you could you be r kelly you want to get caught that's what i i that's what i'm assuming is that you want to get caught you want someone to catch you and stop you and make you go to therapy and put you in jail that's what you want According to Michael Avenatti, another R. Kelly tape exists, y'all. So you literally walking around throughout your whole life carrying this duffel bag full of porn tapes and you just allowing for anyone to take them? Oh my God, y'all. So a subscriber hit me up in my DM today. Let me show y'all what she said. Hold on. She was asking me if I thought that Carrie Kelly was releasing the 20-year-old tapes because she read... The man behind the man of the Demetrius Smith book. And in the book, it says that Carrie took several tapes, but he only gave one back. And all of a sudden, all these tapes is popping up. It might be him, girl. It might be him. But to answer your other question, I don't think that Lee Daniels would do something like that. But you never know people these days. I mean, look at R. Kelly's ass. Lawyer Michael Avenatti says not only will singer R. Kelly face criminal charges soon... But yet another video exists of the superstar hurting an underage girl. Avenatti tweeted Saturday that a previously unseen recording allegedly shows further acts of abuse of an underage girl by R. Kelly. What do y'all think about that? I already know y'all know it's true. And for the R. Kelly fans, I know y'all watching this mad, probably thumbs down and... <laughs> probably thumbs down in my video and saying some mean nasty hateful things in the comments because y'all are big mad that y'all do no wrong celebrity superstars finna go to jail he going 
Whether y'all want him or not. Whether I keep making these videos or not. He going. So you just gonna have to get over it. But for my supporters, y'all let me know how y'all feel down below in the comments. Because y'all know how we do this. We gonna figure it out together. This would be a third and distinctive other tape. Avenatti told the Daily News. Adding that he hopes to have the video within the next week. I'm highly confident that there is a third tape and I'm hopeful that we're going to be able to recover it and turn it over to law enforcement, Avenatti explained. I don't know what got into Michael Avenatti and what made him want to get into this whole controversial R. Kelly situation, but thank you, Michael. Thank you very much because we wasn't getting nowhere before you came in, in the dough. We've been waiting on somebody to arrest his ass, and you're the only one that's been talking about charges being dropped. Oh, not charges being dropped, but charges being filed. Thank you, Michael. On Thursday, the attorney who represents porn star and alleged presidential mistress Stormy Daniels claimed he gave authorities a tape featuring R. Kelly engaging in SEX acts with a minor. I believe that as... The result of the tape that we turned over to prosecutors that we can expect an indictment of R. Kelly shortly, Avenatti told the news. He said he gave that video to Cook County State Attorney's Office in Chicago earlier this month. Oh my God, y'all, so now I can say it peacefully without having to add allegedly. Like, he is fencing to go to jail. J-A-I-L. He going. Yes, Jesus. Won't he do it? He don't never come when you want him to, but he always on time. The first SEX Uly <laughs> explicit video of the singer Avenatti says was at the center of a child porn case against him, which ended in an acquittal in 2008. Because Rashana funky ass parents wanted to accept a measly ass two hundred and fifty thousand dollars when they could have got fourteen million or twenty five million or got his whole house car and his wife's ring, bitch, the clothes off their kids back and every motherfucking thing. I don't understand how all these people is claiming abuse and calling abuse and calling sexual abuse and you how you start a lawsuit for ten million, bitch, and settle for two hundred and fifty thousand? That's not even half of what you wanted. I'm going after my full 10 million. No, I don't want that 250 me measly thousand dollars because that ain't going to do nothing for me. But they don't be understanding that at the moment. They just see them big numbers. Oh, this $250,000 is going to be mine. All I got to do is sign here and be quiet. Yeah. I don't like people like that, bitch. I'm going to need you to get all your money, all your coins. A lawyer for the R&B singer whose real name is Robert Kelly did not immediately respond to a re request for comment. Kelly, 52, has denied all allegations against him. And he gonna keep denying it because that's just what type of person he is. He can't even stand up to his actions, nigga. You a coward, bitch. You just doing shit and don't even want to come back and, 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 and deal with your consequences. Oh, my God. And then his lawyer always got something to say to everybody. Every article I've ever read that have anything to do with R. Kelly, his smart-ass, mouth-ass lawyer, always want to be saying some hot shit. Oh, my client didn't do this. Okay, well, now we're talking about this third tape. Now you ain't got no, no comment because he did it, and you running out of lies. The lawyer is running out of lies. He don't know what else to say because his, 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 his client is guilty. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me on this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please like the video. Don't forget to comment down below. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.